Hey guys, okay, I know this is probably going to be very loud, so um, bear with me. Um, this is my uh, book video, and I'm going to show you guys my books. And this is the first one, which I really don't like all that much, but it's kind of cool knowing which days are which. And it's just a day of everything. There's like April 24th, has like um, a little austera to Beltane, and it talks about anything about that day. I've got March... February, January, December, and everything. And it is by Selena Elidi Ash. I think I said that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. And I got it at Books a Million, I think. I don't know where I got it. Um, but yeah, I think Books a Million. Alright, so that's that book. And that's actually pretty good if you want to read it every day. This is my next one, Working with Fairies. Ugh, late. Okay, there we go. Working with Fairies, Magic, Spells, Potions, and Recipes to See and Attract Them by Anna Franklin. And this I've actually read, and I've just... It has everything you want in here. There's um, Devas and Dryads. I think I'm saying that all right. There's... It's got Midwinter Solstice, Halloween. They've got Time Tea to See Them, Violet Tea, Clary Sage Tea and a lot of history about them so and I actually have one page marked I wonder what that's about oh uh, that's the introduction okay <laughs> so that's that book uh, this one I got because I didn't really know which one to get at the time so it was either this one or it was another one and the other one was kinda ick icky so I didn't get that one this is the Encyclopedia of Magical Ingredients a Wiccan Guide to Spellcasting by Alexa Roseanne um, this, obviously, I've highlighted. It has all kinds of herbs and flowers and roots and wood and everything. And it just has the, mat the ruler, the type of food, and the magical form. And it tells you when to, or not when, but how to eat it or ingest it. And if it's worth ingesting or not. Alright. This one, I think, was... Maybe my second or third book that I read, Wicca for Beginners by Thea Sabin, or Sabin, I'm sorry if I pronounced her name wrong. This one I haven't read in a while, but this one has, ooh, little markers in it right there. And it's a good book, I mean, it's, it's filled with a lot of information, um, but like I said, I'm eclectic, so I, when I read this again, um, I'm just going to, it's got a little, yeah, can you see that? It's like... I think somebody said a drink on it or something. Um, but it's full of good things like getting to know your gods and the elements and an example of using meditation to achieve a goal and all that cool stuff. So that's that book. And this one I haven't even read yet because I didn't really seem interested in it. But it's Witchcraft Theory and Practice by Lee De Angelis. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, this, I don't know what's in it, but it looks like there's spells and rituals. Um, phases. And stuff like that. The Eightfold Wheel of the Year. Oh, that's kind of cool. It has the Wheel of the Year, and it's not really confess That's not really focused well, but it's got the Sabbath. The southern in the southern hemisphere when it is and the northern hemisphere when it is that's cool um but yeah i haven't really read that book yet so once i read it i'll let y'all know and this one is the craft of witch's book of shadow by dorothy morrison and obviously i had to tape it because it ripped and there's a lot of little tabbies in this one this, that's because when i was doing this one i was writing out like um all the things i needed in my book of shadows so that's what I used, and I have every chapter member, uh, tagged, and in this one there's Basic Witchery 101, um, I have here Walking the Path where it says the craft is accepting, generous, and loving. It's gentle, unobtrusive, and supportive. It's an ethical way of life that once embraced bring immeasur brings immeasurably, immeasurable joy and wonder to everyday living. I cannot talk today. And I just got all those... Um, Marked and this one is appendix is the appendix and there's the magical use of herbs, plants, flowers, and trees. So that's that book. That's really interesting. Actually, I like that book. Uh, this one, this is the one I 
I'm sort of reading, and then I'm going to read the others later. This one is Green Witchcraft, Folk Magic, Fairy Lore, and Herbcraft uh, by Ann Mora. And um, I'm only on like page 10, 11 actually, 11, there's my marker. But this has sabbats, um, rituals, money stuff, um, tarot, divination, dream pillows. This is actually where I made to learn dream, make dream pillows. Um, so I'll be making those in another video. And this is the second one, which I haven't read yet, because I haven't finished the first. Green Witchcraft 2, Balancing Light and Shadow by Ann Mora as well. And, by the way, I'll put all these names in the uh, sidebar. There's Glossary, a few terms, um, pictures in this one as well. There's lots of terms and just stuff in here about light and dark, I'm assuming, because I haven't read this yet. And I think I just saw some rings. <laughs> Um, Green Witchcraft 3, the manual, I think this one's going to be my favorite one. Um, in this manual, Ann Mora presents as the craft as a course of instruction with eight magical classes. Um, this has divinations, casting a circle, meditation and technique, divination with a Celtic Ogham, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, uh, consecration of a statue, uh, green rules of conduct, stones and crystals, casting and creating spells, herb craft, candle magic, and stuff like that. So that sounds good. And they get kind of thinner as you go up. <laughs> and this is the one I'm reading after I finished Raymond Buckland's book, which I think everybody should know about. Uh, Wicca, The Complete Crap by DJ Conway. He's also an author of Celtic Magic. And this one I have actually started to read, and I've got actually very far. I'm on like 187. Um, but this has... Like, at the end of every chapter, let me see if I can find one. Yeah, right here. It has study work, and it's really cool if you don't, if, you, if you're just new to the craft and you can't, well, actually this is more expensive than Raymond's book, but if you can only get one book, and it's this one or Raymond Buckland's, I would suggest getting this one, especially if you're a newbie, because this has study stuff where you can write down everything and you can change your answers later, however often that you read it. So that's that book, and I want to show you guys this catalog. It's from Isis, and it's all ripped and everything, but it's from isisbooks.com, um, and I got their mail order, and it's got all sorts of stuff in there, like books and music and divination and herbs and statues um, and necklaces and herb kits and a whole bunch of stuff. So check this out. Excuse me. Um, check out isisbooks.com. I'll post their link in the sidebar. Get their catalog because their online thing is kind of weird. So it's kind of weird to look through unless you're a lot, you're used to looking through their internet stuff. I prefer the catalogs because I can just pick out what I want from here, then go to the internet, find it, and then get it, and then have it mailed to me really quickly instead of using this. So, yeah, that's all of them. That's all my books for now. <laughs> Like I said, I still have that whole page list of books that I want to get. So once I do that, I'll be good to go. All right? Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.